Let me tell you the truth. Listen to me. If God is showing you repetitive dreams, not once, I've said it here once again. If you have any experience more than once, a pattern has formed. And if a pattern has formed, it's because a covenant is in existence. Patterns only only work when there is a sponsoring sponsoring agreement behind it. Nothing repeats itself if there is no structure. It's like the sun and the moon. There is a structure in place for the sun to come out and when it's time, it must, it must um, go down for the moon to come out. It's a structure. Nothing repeats itself reoccurrently if there is no structure. And in the spirit realm, the structure that sponsors for repetition is called covenant. Are you listening to me? Yes, I'm a new believer. I'm a Christian. uh, I'm created in the image and the likeness of God. But if you find in your life a repetition, there is a covenant that you have not yet broken, albeit you are in Christ. I say this all the time. And it's almost sounding like a broken record. But it's because there are still many who are still struggling with it. Oh, because I am now a Christian. It doesn't apply to me. If it did not apply to you, you will not be experiencing it again. The pattern exists because the structure is still there. So there is a structure that must be broken down. But every every demonic covenant, it is predicated upon sin. Sin is the way that Satan is able to build or bridge a covenant from his kingdom to a family. Sin. I was talking to one of my coaching clients this week and I began to open her eyes to see the Holy Spirit as I began the coaching session with her. Barely five minutes into the coaching session, the Spirit of the Lord opened my eyes and it began to show me the sins in her bloodline that has opened the door for the covenant. I saw this and I saw that and I said, Sis, does does this exist in your bloodline? She said, yes. I said, does this exist in your bloodline? She said, even my mother is dealing with it. Sin. Sin is the is the foundation upon which the structure must stand upon. That's why in your family every man is an alcoholic. That's why in your family nobody is with their first wife. That's why in your family there's a specific habit. It looks like it is normal. In my family, oh, we get angry. Oh, don't try me and my sisters. We get very vexed. What you are saying, what you are saying that looks like it has become a confident, uh, a confident trophy. You're proud of this, and nobody can provoke any of you because the both of you and your sisters, you are like lionesses. What you don't know is that that thing that you are proud about, it is the structure upon which the covenant that has been holding you and your sisters bound. That is the structure. It's not to be, you're not supposed, you're not supposed to be proud about it. That, oh, me and my sisters, we are so beautiful. We, our beauty can bring down a man from the mountaintop. What you are seeing in there is that it started as lost. And when it became lost, Satan was able to access one of your, one of your great grandfathers. And through that, loss became a dominion over your family. It is called the dominion of the air. When Satan comes into the life of an individual, it is not just that one person he's looking for. That person is an access point to the generations afterward. Because even God himself, when he comes to your life, he is seeking to access a family, a, a, a bloodline, legacy, inheritance. The same thing applies to Satan. So that character that looks like we are not proud about it. Uh, oh, in my family, we can bring down one full bottle of alcohol uh, and we'll do it in two minutes. That's right there is the structure upon which the covenant stands on. So when you began to, when you began to work with the Lord, uh, one of the things that you began to experience is that the Spirit of the Lord began to call you, stay away from that alcohol. Oh, God is trying to restrict me. What God is trying to do to you is this. Uh, there is a pattern that exists in your family. And that thing you're holding in your hand is the structure upon it. Uh, break the bottle through priesthood. That was what he was saying to you. Shut your legs. Uh, oh, there are women having sex and they still get married. You cannot afford it because in your family, the permission that opened the door to the marine kingdom into your family was that thing you're doing. Uh, shut your legs. It goes beyond you. It is the womb of your children, the children in your womb. Uh, and they will not inherit that pattern again. Uh, the cousins, the nieces, the nephews, uh, that they will be liberated because of your cry. That is what God has been telling you to do. This is the legal ground that Satan has against your bloodline. 